Many projects often fail because of poor task management. Do you even feel like you are juggling a million things but nothing ever seems to get done? Well, you're not alone. In fact, many professionals struggle to keep things organized and on track. But what if I told you that there's a simple tool that can change all of that? Let's change that today with Trello, a tool that can organize your chaos. Trello is a powerhouse used by millions of people around the world, from freelancers to top organizations, helping them stay organized and focused. And did you know that over 80% of businesses use Trello for managing project and task? Whether you're a startup or team, a solo entrepreneur, Trello is designed to help you stay on the top of your work and increase productivity. In fact, studies show that Trello users report up to 30% improvement in task efficiency just by switching to well-organized board. So in this video, we will walk you through how Trello can help you streamline your task, organize your projects and stay productive from start to finish. So here's what we'll cover in today's video. First, we'll get started with Trello and set up your first board. Then we'll add lists and cards to organize your task. Next, I'll show you how to use labels and filters to keep everything in check. Setting deadlines and notifications to stay ahead. Turning tasks into core goals for better focus. And then managing your goals effectively. I'll also show you how to add calendar feature to track deadlines. And by the end of this video, you will know exactly how to use Trello to boost your productivity and stay on the top of your projects. But before we dive into the tutorial, here's a first quiz question for you. Which of the following is the most important step to manage your project successfully? Your options are setting a budget, creating a timeline, organizing tasks, selecting a team. Drop your answers in the comment section below and let's see how well you know project management. Before we go further, if you want to watch more videos like this, make sure to like, share and subscribe to Simply Learn's YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you never miss out any update. Also, if you are ready to take your project management skills to next level, then the Simply Learn's PMP certification training is your gateway to success. As a globally recognized PMI partner, we offer top-notch training designed to help you pass the PMP exam on your first attempt. Our course includes exclusive masterclasses in generative AI for project management, helping you stay ahead of the curve with the latest trends and technologies. You will learn 35 PDUs, access to a simulation assessment, and get over 500 premium practice questions to sharpen your skills. With a 1,000 question bank cheat sheets and a guaranteed exam pass study plan, we have got everything you need to know to succeed. Plus, we are running 30 plus life cohorts in the next 90 days, so you can join class that fits your schedule. So what are you waiting for? Hurry up and enroll now and you can find the course link below. Let's jump right in. Now to get started, you first need to create your Trello account. Simply go to Google and search for Trello.com and then from here, you can just enter your email and then click on sign up for free. Now from here, you need to just create your account, select create your account from here. So this is how you land on your dashboard. Now let's set up your first Trello board. What you need to do is you just need to click on uh, you can answer a few questions here, like what brings you here today. I'll just uh, select on create personal, track personal task and to-dos. Or you can either skip this if you want. So it's actually showing you a preview on how you can add your cards, different cards here. And you can also add cards to your inbox with the help of apps. So this is the board section from here. Now boards are where your projects live. You can create a new board by clicking on create new board from here. So from here, we'll just select on create board and you can actually choose any background, whatever suits your to do task list. So uh, maybe I like this one or you can view more from here. You get multiple options and let's suppose I liked this one. So I'll just select this. Now you can enter your board title name. So let's suppose my board title name is YouTube plan and visibility. You can just select on private and then hit on create. So as you can see from here, you're getting this option of 14 days left, which is after 14 days, your free version will expire and you would need to buy the premium version for this. Now, this is a preview of my boards and from here you can add another list. The lists are basically the task, the to do, doing, done. At the left hand side here, these are the tasks which you will be entering as the ones to do. 
and this will be the one which will be in progress and at right hand side will be the task which are already done so you can just drag in from here and as you can see let's suppose i mention a uh, right scripts okay and then i'll just give it like these are the cards from here so i'll just hit on enter and once it's done i can just select on mark as complete and i'll just drag in from here and keep it in the done section so in this way you can actually organize your task and make a list of all the tasks which you need to do now let me show you how you can actually add your cards in this list section now you can also rename your list from here so let's suppose this would be something as maybe ideas list where i'll be just dumping all the ideas in this section from here whatever ideas i have to create for my youtube plan so i'll just mention it as ideas list and i'll just edit on this card now you can just open the card from here and from here you can actually add the description for your list the task which you're doing maybe i'll just mention this as shorts ideas list rename it as youtube shorts and from description you can just add few more of the description which actually defines your category so list of youtube conversational shorts all right and then from here you can actually refine with your text styles also you can use multiple text styles like heading 1 heading 2 heading 3 you've got this option of adding a list again bullet list numbered list you can also add image to make your uh, description more clear so let's suppose if i add an image i'll just show you how to do it so basically you need to attach the image link from here now from here what i'll do is i'll just attach the image link now it says that image link must be in .bmp gif jpg jpg file so we just need to download that image first so since i'm not able to actually copy paste it i'll just select on upload from computer and from you i'll just select this icon and open and just hit on submit from here okay so we need to just attach an image link so it will be youtube okay and now i just click on submit so now that we have added our image as well now next step would be we can also add or insert elements from here as in you can mention someone so let's suppose uh, right now there's nobody in my uh, trello account list so this is actually showing my name as you can see from here but then if you want to actually tag and mention someone to make sure that they know this description thing then you can actually do that from here next is uh, you have got this option of writing assistance so you can take help of ai to actually summarize writing find action items fix spelling and grammar and many options from here okay. now let me show you how you can add labels from here this is an important section so uh, let's suppose i add this red color label and i'll just mention it as just hit on this edit icon from here and i'll give the title name as high priority so in this way it's actually more clearer to me as well as the other people that which task are to be done and which is on high priority and i'll just hit on the save option next you can add one more table so like you can add multiple labels from here the second label and i'll just again hit on save this now since i have already entered my label section also from here you can also add and create your checklist all right let's suppose my checklist name is shorts plan ideas i'll add this and from here i've added an item on ai ml pos shorts next i'll add one more item as um generative ai animated you can also assign that particular task from here and that person would get the notification and also they can see in their trello account but for this you would actually need your premium version so these are the task i've done and which whatever items are actually done you can just click on this check box from here and as you can see it's mentioned as 50% done now you can also hide your checked items and also delete the items which are already done so right now i'll not be just hitting on this check item and yeah that's it you can also add comments and activities i'll show you how to do that so that person would be notified if you're adding any particular comment in the doc section adding some images or any suggestions whatever you want to add next i'll show you how to add an important thing which is the due date option so let's suppose the due date for this particular task is like maybe 8 of october 
so by default the due date is 8 of october and the timing you can just enter it at maybe like 15 24 or 15 30 that's it and you can set your due date reminder as one day before or that particular day or the time of due date so i'll just set it as maybe at the time of uh, due date and just hit on the save option from here so this is how i have added my checklist and showed you also how you can add your members attachment and add labels from your comment section images and everything so now you'll just go back to your board and you can see that your image is being added so this image will be displayed if you actually add your image now if you don't want this particular image to be there you can also archive it later let's suppose these are the idea list then we have doing where i'll be adding as a script right then i've got recording videos okay and some spelling mistake is there shooting that's it publishing so these are the tasks which i am doing right now and now from here let's suppose you have already done that particular task so what i'll do is i'll just shift this from this done section and i'll just hit on this marked as done so it was already marked as complete before so again i'll just mark it complete so in this way you'll get to know what tasks are in progress and what you have actually done from here you can also add multiple list section from here and let's suppose if I want to archive this particular card, you can also do that by just hitting on this archive option. And you see that your card has been archived. Again, you can undo it if you want to unarchive your card. Next, we have one more important thing which I wanted to show you, which was the power ups. So in power ups, uh, actually in the premium version, you can get the uh, scheduling the calendar option from here. In that way, you can get to know in your calendar sheet the due dates of your task to be done. So let me add a power up from here. I'll search for calendar. So as you can see, you get this option of calendar power up, right? Just hit on that and click on add. So this will be added as an extension in your system. We'll just go back again. Just uh, refresh this page again. So as you can see, this calendar option is now appeared here in your navigation bar, the menu section from here. So you can actually click on that power up. This is the calendar. And from here, you can just see your due date. Let's suppose 8th of October, your due date is YouTube Shorts, which is marked as already done. So this is already being crisscrossed, right? And if it's not marked as done, you can get the notification of when your task has to be done. And it is also notified in your actual mobile devices as a notification. So you'll get to know when to do it and a reminder as well. Next, you can also share your board with your members from here. So you can actually add an email address or you can have this option of member plus observer. Now this observer option is only available in premium. Now observer means somebody who can only view your board and your task. And the member would be somebody who has got the edit access, right? How in the sheets and docs you get the option in the similar way you get it here. And you can have this option of joining request as how many people is sending request you to get the option of observer or member. And you are the admin from here. So in this way, you can actually add email address, create your link and send it to your groups. And they'll be just notified about your boards. You can also change the visibility of your board, like you can keep it as workspace. Now, when you do it as workspace, all the members of the Trello workspace can see and edit this board. Public, anyone on the internet can see the board and private, only the board members and Trello workspace admins can do. Now, for better security, it's better to go ahead with the private visibility option from here. So guys, I just showed you how you can actually use this Trello and how you can actually plan your to-dos like the ideas list, doing done. I could have added one more, another list. So whatever task you've got, you can add the list from here, add cards, checklist, and just prepare your to-dos list, which will be more structured way of you doing your work. And that's it. You have now learned how to use Trello to organize and manage your projects more effectively. With a little practice, you'll find that Trello becomes an indispensable tool for your productivity. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you won't miss out any more project management tips. And if you have any doubts or questions, ask them in the comment section below. Our team of experts will reply to you as soon as possible. Thank you and keep learning with Simply Learn.